This video will show you how to safely use a box cutter and X-Acto knives. So this is a box cutter. These are both different versions of X-Acto knives. Another tool we have for cutting things that are a little bit harder to cut are these heavy duty scissors. So this cardboard piece that I have right here is on the thinner side. So I probably can cut it with just my scissors. You always wanna start with your scissors first. All right, sure enough, I was able to cut that pretty easily with my scissors. So if I was just cutting out, say a rectangle and I was gonna go straight across here, then that would be good and I would just use my scissors. However, say for example, maybe I want to do more of a curved shape. And that, oops, there you go. Maybe I wanna do more of a curved shape. So the first thing you see is that I already scooched this over. Unfortunately, because of my camera stand, I have this big uh, bump right here. You always wanna make sure your cardboard is flat, flat, flat. You don't want anything under it. So say there was you know, a pair of scissors sitting here, down here. Let's zoom out, there you go. Say there was a pair of scissors cutting sitting here. I wouldn't take my X-Acto knife and start cutting when you know there's something under it. You wanna make sure there's absolutely nothing under it. So I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife. You can see that I'm holding it in kind of a pencil-like grip. So that's how you wanna hold it. And I am going to, let me zoom in again. I am going to start cutting. So you're gonna go slow and steady with this. And right now I'm going up, which is away from me, and then out to the side, which also isn't towards me. So that's all fine. But once I started going in this direction, my body is over here. So once I started going in this direction, I would actually rotate this. Here, I'll put it under the camera stand. I would rotate it because I want to make sure that I'm not cutting towards my body. So I'm going to keep doing that until I hit the line I'd already cut. So let's see. Right now, I'm trying to pull it off and I haven't pulled it off yet. It's not separate yet. So that means I have to go through again. Notice that I didn't hold this like this and try to dig in as hard as I can to make sure it gets cut all at once. There are two reasons you don't wanna do that. One, it's more likely, there's little tiny bumps within the cardboard and it's more likely that you'll hit a bump and then your pan will go flying and you might lose the, you might let go of the, um, exacto knife completely, or if there's someone standing next to you, you might accidentally stab them. And of course we don't wanna do that. So now I'm just gonna go through another time. And notice that when I'm cutting, I'm not like holding my fingers right here. I'm kind of holding them a little bit off to the side because I don't want my fingers anywhere near this. So I'm gonna go through a second time. Mm, still not quite there. I'm going to go through a third time. Ooh, I think I may have gotten it this time. I think I have the table. Let's see. Nope, not quite. Okay, try it again. So as you see, sometimes you're going to have to do this over and over again before it will start to, uh, before it will go through fully. That bell was just over the video. Not time to leave yet. Okay, so as you see, we uh, now have this nice piece cut out right here. So say I wanted to cut a straight line. As you know, this paper right here is thin enough that I could, here, I'm gonna scooch it down. This paper is thin enough that I could easily cut with scissors, but let's pretend for the moment that it's not. If you wanted to cut a straight line, the best way to make sure it stays straight is by getting one of these metal rulers. The reason why we wanna use one of these and not like a plastic one is because they have this uh, cork on the back. So if I try to move this, I can't really move it. Whereas if I had it on the metal side, it's really easy to move. So this helps you to not accidentally slip and cut your fingers. So. Um, I would, so let's actually go over to the box cutter now. Let's say I wanna use the box cutter. So mine was already open. This right here has a retractable blade. So you would push down and push up and you see the blade comes out. 
And then when you're done with it, you do the same thing. You push down and, or push in and push down, pull down, and then the blade will go in. So I, of course, I'm gonna open that and I'm gonna cut this. So I, of course, want to keep my fingers, I'm not gonna put them right on the edge. I'm gonna have them a little bit further over. I do need to hold the ruler, so I need my fingers close-ish, but I don't want them super close. Um, also, again, I'm standing right here. So I'm just gonna, I know you can't see it, but I just scooched my body off to the side a little bit so that if this accidentally slipped, it would just slip into the air. It wouldn't slip into my hip. You don't wanna stab yourself in the hip. So this one you hold a little bit differently. So I'm holding it uh, kind of a little bit on the lower half, but I have my finger on top. That helps to give it a little bit more pressure. And same thing, you would cut and you would go over it over and over again until it's cut all the way through. I think I, no, let's see. So again, just like with, there we go, with the X-Acto knife, you might have to lift it, you might have to cut over and over and over again. When you're done, you always, always, always need to immediately put your tools away. So this little old matcha container is where we keep our metal tools. Notice right now they are all um, pointy side down. So even though I immediately retracted this as soon as I was done, just in case we're still always gonna put where the pointy edge is down. And then of course my other X-Acto knife, I'm gonna put that pointy edge down. These ones especially are very important. These roll very easily. So if you did not immediately put this away and it accidentally rolled off the table, it could stab you in the foot. We don't want that to happen. So always immediately put it back in. And the last X-Acto knife, I haven't shown you this one yet. So this one has a slightly different blade shape. Notice it has a little bit of a curve, but you can still see where it's glinting a little bit. That's the beveled edge. So same thing, I would hold it kind of like a pencil, same as the other one, and I would cut, you know, whatever direction I needed to be cutting. I would cut in that direction over and over again, but same thing, same, hold it the same way. And again, the part of the edge that is um, not perfectly straight, that's the part you wanna cut with. And of course I'm done, so I'm gonna pop that right in there.